Even if you dream, it won't come true. Let's accept the reality and just be satisfied with it. There are some people who tell you this. Empty your mind because it's the only way to be happy. I never wanted to accept it. Can you change your past or not? You can't. Present? Can you change it right away? No, right? There's only one way to do it. It is to move to your future. The future is continuously coming to you, isn't it? Yes, but in this coming future, the only type of future you should make come to you is that you move to the future first and build a desirable future yourself. People are capable of thinking this way, but they crush it. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. How am I going to own a nice car? It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. How am I going to own a 2,490 square foot apartment? You are all crushing, trampling, and just doing this. But the successful person is the one who says, I can become rich. I can live a life of helping others. I can make 30 million won, 50 million won, and even 70 million won in a month. The person who thinks this way, the person who believes in his own capability, a person who uses even small thoughts for personal growth. It's not a difference in education nor capability. Power to think. It's the difference in thinking skills. You need to build strength on your thinking skills. In the beginning, you think of low possibility. You have to build strength on your thinking skills for personal growth. You do not succeed with the amount of knowledge you have. With eagerness, with the confidence that you can succeed, this confidence in your head changes people. Everyone, as long as you can visualize clearly in your head how you will succeed, your body will change, your expression will change, and you will change into a successful person. Your body has a characteristic that changes depending on what you think in your head. So even though things didn't actually happen, your body changes as if things have actually happened. You are writing a life scenario that shows the type of person you would like to become, just like a movie. When you write a life scenario, it can be really hard to write because you wonder, can I really be the one who earns 50 million won a month? I really hope so, but what if I can't? Some people just put their pens up and down all night and can't write a line. Everyone, even if that is the case, Grab the pen and write with courage. If you don't feel right, just hang on to it very eagerly until your mind changes. This isn't just a matter of how you feel or being hard to write. Even if it's unlikely, if the possibility is less than 1% or 10%, you have to keep holding on to that possibility and move towards it. Success, it's never attained with high probability. It's a low possibility, but success is attained when you move towards it. It comes to your mind because it's possible. So, write it down and keep pledging that you will become successful. There is a good way to commit to that, to announce it to people around you, to announce it to your family. Of course, it's very likely to hear that you're crazy, yes, but a person who has never heard that he or she is crazy in his or her entire life is a person who has never lived passionately. 
A person who lives passionately will definitely hear that he or she is crazy. But people, they're usually afraid to hear that they are crazy. Everyone, you need the courage to hear that you're crazy. So be courageous to announce to your family, to people around you. With this announcement, your vision will be strengthened. Every time you talk, you're slipping into that vision. There's a fear in talking about that. Everybody, courage does not mean that you do not feel fear. Courage means that you feel that fear, but you face it. Such fear by overcoming. You need the courage to declare that you will become a successful person. Whether you were born rich or were born poor. No matter how you were born, how you think in your life decides your life. That's why it is very easy to control your future free of cost. So control it as much as you want. And when that future comes to you, make it a future of your intention. You are not alone. When you're alone and give up due to hardship, it doesn't mean it's over. If you give up due to hardship, your wife, your husband, your parents, and your children, all of them will have to give up. That's why we have to stand up. If you succeed, your wife, your husband, your parents, and your children can succeed together. You have loved ones in your heart. This is why you have to stay courageous even if you are afraid. Success belongs to the courageous ones. I hope everyone stays courageous to become a successful person. I'll end my lecture here.